We've already talked about the 16.7.1 drivers for the RX 480, and we showed that in our four gigabyte versus eight gigabyte benchmark that was posted yesterday or the day before. And that update was provided to us strictly to look at GTA 5, where it resolved stuttering issues. This is something we actually saw, the stuttering issues have kind of receded in GTA 5 with 16.7.1. The release drivers were 16.6.2. But there's another thing that 16.7.1 theoretically resolves, and that coincides with AMD's newest statement on their PCIe bus power draw for the RX 480. So the statement's pretty long. I've got the whole thing posted in an article. You can hit that in the link below. But the relevant parts of this statement uh, are addressing the power draw on the PCIe bus, and AMD specifically says, we're pleased to report that this driver, Radeon Software 1671, is now undergoing final testing and will be released to the public in the next 48 hours. And that's the main part, but the thing here is this is introducing a compatibility switch. So it's a, a toggle button in Radeon software, and that toggle allows you to basically enable a throttle for the power if you're concerned about the PCIe bus drawing too much power and potentially damaging components in the system, like the motherboard, if, if that is a concern to you. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be set depending on what sort of components you're using, but uh, it will be a toggle. The toggle will definitely throttle performance to some extent, but it may not be a large amount. We'll see. I will validate that as soon as uh, we've got a final build of the driver. And to that end, AMD actually says, we've included an option to reduce total power with minimal performance impact. Users will find this as the compatibility UI toggle in global settings, and it's off by default. That means that it will be drawing the amount shown in our initial review by default. And they say, finally, we've implemented a collection of performance improvements that improve performance in some games up to 3%. And these optimizations are designed to improve the performance of the RX 480. And this is the important part, so pay attention here. These should offset the performance impact for users who choose to activate the compatibility toggle, or should substantially offset is what they actually say. Uh, so uh, clearly, there is a performance impact with this compatibility switch. It's off by default. So the card out of box will resemble what the reviews are showing. If you turn it on, uh, just based on this, this sort of obvious wording, there will be a performance reduction. That's because there will be less power going to the card. And the way that will manifest itself is the clock rate will likely be uh, sort of down clocking more frequently to reduce the power draw. So you're going to get either a less stable clock rate or a lower overall clock rate. But that's how the power patch will likely work. And uh, then there's the performance improvements for titles. So we saw those in GTA 5, like with stuttering and the actual FPS. So it sounds like this will be resolved in some form. Uh, we will still be doing endurance testing on the PCIe bus with the original card with that setting turned off. It's off by default anyway, so it makes sense to test that. But uh, overall, that's kind of what we got from AMD right now in terms of the PCIe bus. Check the content on 4 gigabytes versus 8 gigabytes if you're interested in more on the RX 480 or, of course, the full review. And if you're not really sure what this problem is, I would recommend uh, checking the... Actually, Tom's Hardware had one of the best posts on it in their review. They have power testing that a lot of sites don't because equipment costs. So that's where you should start if you want to learn about what's happening. And then check back here if you want to learn about how it's resolved, if it's resolved, and if in the real world this is a problem, because we have another video coming out with some cheap motherboard parts and things like that that we bought to see if the power draw kills anything. So as always, thanks for watching. Patreon link the post-troll video if you want to help us out directly. I will see you all next time.